Welcome back to my channel. This is Mod C33 here, aka Crystal with the C, back at you with another video. But if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I put out at least two videos a week, one sit down, one review, slash reaction, slash vlog. So I've been kind of putting up some different content lately, you guys. Hopefully you've been enjoying. I've um, actually put out a few reviews on some movies that I've seen. And then I did one vlog for my birthday, which was earlier this month. Today, by the way, is Saturday, June 30th, the last day of June. So um, going into July tomorrow. But just wanted to put out this video today. Um, this is actually going to be another review video. You guys probably won't see this until next week, the first week of July. Um, but I am filming it today, so last day of June. So, um, but if you, again, are new to my channel, check out some of my videos. Again, I've been doing reviews. I've been doing reactions. Currently, I'm reacting to Marvel's Runaways. Um, and I'm open to reacting to some other things, you guys. So let me know if there are some other shows out there that you're really interested in seeing reactions to. I will definitely take it under consideration. Again, like I mentioned in um, my prior video that I just put out, there's some content that's just not gonna go on the channel. So um, it just kind of depends on what all is like going on in the show. So um, I do have to look at that and be mindful of that. But um, again, your recommendations are totally welcome. Um, but yeah, I do again put out those videos. Um, and if any of that interests you, make sure before you leave this video, before you click off, you subscribe to my channel. You do that by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos. But without further ado, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And as you saw in the thumbnail, I'm gonna be doing a one month review on um, this little cutie right here, which is my Palm Springs mini backpack from Louis Vuitton. Um, so it's probably not gonna be a very long review, hopefully not anyway. Um, again, I've been carrying this bag for um, over a month now. I bought it, um, what's my receipts that I have next to me here? I bought this bag from the Louis Vuitton store in Charleston, South Carolina, and it was um, on May 26, 2018. Um, just, I kind of talked about it when I did my unboxing of this bag. I'll try to link that video below when I did my Memorial Day haul unboxings and all of that. But, um, I basically was with my best friend and her brother. They came up to visit me for that weekend. Um, we went to Charleston. So, um, happened to go into Louis Vuitton. I just wanted to, like, I've been kind of looking at this bag and I've seen a lot of videos, seen a lot of reviews. And typically, like I mentioned before, um, some bags I'm not in love with when I see them the first time. Like this one, when I first saw it, I was like, y'all need to stop playing and stop joking around because I was not feeling it. But as I continue to see it and most of the reviews about this bag are very positive, um, I, you know, I started to get into it. I really do um, like, I did like certain aspects of the bag being that it's all weather, um, like Damia Bean. So um, it is a classic monogram, but it's got a bit of an edge to it with the black trim um, calfskin leather. So that's what I really did like about the bag as far as the versatility of it, being that it had the four D rings. You could switch straps up or you could carry it as a backpack. You could carry it crossbody. You can carry it over the shoulder. Um, so I did like that aspect of the bag as well, but I just really was not feeling the bag and I, I wasn't feeling the price of the bag. But, um, you know, I was looking on the pre-love market, looked on eBay. Sometimes I do buy pre-love bags from eBay. And the price, like, sometimes was above what retail costs. So, you know, that did tell me that, again, the bag still has a lot of popularity, even though I think this bag was released as a runway piece, I think in 2015, 14. I could be wrong on that, but I think it's about 2015 that it, this bag was released from Louis Vuitton. So it still has a lot of popularity and, you know, the value of it has increased, even used. So that's something I looked at as well. Again, most of the reviews I saw on it were positive. So, you know, it was something I was really kind of wanting to check out. Thought it was like a nice little cute casual mini bag um i have been downsizing lately i do love big bags but i have been downsizing so this was something that i was looking at and it was something that was on my wish list even though i don't really have um like a formalized wish list i you know i never did a video on that because really for me my collection um of items that i do have i'm really satisfied and content with them and i kind of am sifting through to see if there's something i can sell because you guys i really want like probably the last item that I really want is another classic and it's a Chanel Jumbo. I've actually looked at that bag and what to me, to me what's impressive about this particular bag, 
um, is that like probably a few weeks ago, I, do, I did go to Charlotte and I tried on a Chanel Jumbo in the store and I put all of my items from this bag in the Jumbo and someone actually, I mentioned it in another video, I didn't believe them, but um, actually everything um, in here like fills up a Chanel Jumbo because of the double flap. So that was kind of impressive. And even the people at Chanel were impressed when they saw everything that I fit in this bag and everything that I was putting in the jumbo and it filled up the jumbo. So that was kind of crazy. But um, yeah, that's probably for me the last bag I'm kind of looking at as far as a wish list is concerned. Um, but I was happy to get this little cutie, went right into Charleston, South Carolina, into the boutique, you know, asked them, you know, the lady came, um, very nice um, sales associate. She just came, you know, what are you guys looking for? And I happened to just say, hey, you know, you guys happen to have a Palm Springs Mini. And she's like, yeah, we just got one in yesterday, which I was so shocked about because from all the reviews I've heard on YouTube, this bag is very, very difficult to get. So I um, was very surprised by that, looked at it, put some of my stuff in it and just said, okay, cool, I'm going to go ahead and get it. So I consider this like my bag for the year, <laughs> my birthday bag. <laughs> so it was an unexpected purchase, but it is very pleasant um, addition to my collection. So um, again, I've been carrying this bag since May 27th because I switched all of my things into it the very, like the night that I had it and carried it the next day um, out and about. So May 27th, I've been carrying the bag since then. So today again, it's June 30th. So it's been a little bit over a month. So let me tell you a little bit about the bag. Um, first thing is, um, as far as everything is like, like, as far as actually transitioning into this bag and fitting everything into it. Now, when I carried it the first two weeks, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought about returning it. Um, because, you know, I had watched a whole bunch of videos on this particular bag and as far as how, how to fit things in there, um, the best way. And a lot of people recommended like the accordion style, meaning as far as kind of setting yourself, um, setting your stuff up kind of like a bookshelf so you can see everything clearly. That did not work for me, um, mainly because um, like with my mini pochette and certain items that I would put in there, it's hard to get them out. So, and then I found that I really couldn't fit as much. So I was just like, well, people say you can fit a lot into this bag, but I can't really fit much trying to fit my stuff in like a bookshelf. So that did not work out for me. And really me trying to do that, I was like, well, maybe I can return the bag and invest the money toward a Chanel Jumbo because I knew I really wanted that bag. But, um, you know, I tried to put my things in a different way. So I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Um, and then that worked out perfectly. And I was able to fit a whole bunch of stuff in this bag. And this bag with me holding it with one hand is actually very heavy. Um, and it doesn't look like, again, that this bag fits a lot, but it really does. Um, I've been carrying it pretty much crossbody. I've not carried it the backpack way. Pretty much crossbody over the shoulder and then just by the handle because I love a top handle bag. So, um, yeah, that's how I've been carrying it. People talked about this front pocket right here. I did kind of put some things in there initially, but what I found is that I couldn't fit as much kind of in the bag, like the few last items I wanted to stuff in the main compartment of the bag. I could not do that with something in the front pocket, so I don't carry anything in this front pocket. But I did carry like mints, headphones, you know, something small like that in that front pocket. Um, the zipper to me isn't bad, especially when um, the bag is on me. I can pretty much zip and unzip it pretty well. I put um, this little sanitizer as well as, let me get a little closer, this little lottery bag charm. Y'all have seen this before. I usually put this on all of my bags. And so um, it's really not bad as far as zipping and unzipping. Um, I feel like it's harder to zip than it is to unzip, but um, yeah, it's not bad at all for me. And I usually like, because I've heard, I've been very conscientious of wear on this bag. I've heard that these little tabs on the side here um, get more wear sooner um, a lot of times and that they'll flip out. So I try not to zip the bag all the way down where it's touching this, this flap over here. And then I don't zip it like all the way down. I typically will like leave it here as far as the zipper is concerned. Um, and then because I carry it crossbody, like I already know nothing is going to come out on the side here with this little bit of space that's open and nobody's going to put their hand in my bag. So, um, you know, I tried to make it so that this right here is on the front and that this tab is, is not touching this tab. So that's how, what I'm kind of doing to try to prevent wear, but you know, that's not really going to prevent wear on this front tab here, but I'm not really worried about that. Um, as far as what I've seen from the bag, 
Um, it is a little bit distorted because I do again have this back stuff. I have worn it consistently like every single day since May 27th. Um, so the zipper is a little bit contorted a little bit because I have it stuffed. Um, I do notice that it looks like there's kind of like a film or something that's kind of on the lip here from the zipping and unzipping. Um, I'm probably going to take a wet wipe and, and try to see if I can get some of that off. It may just be some staining from zipping and unzipping, but we'll see. I'll come back to you guys in a later video, let you know if there's any noticeable wear that I see. Um, as far as the back is concerned, you know, it still looks good. No issue with um, these rings that I see. Cause I know a lot of people after a while that they um, will see like some of the threading will kind of come out of these two. So I'm gonna put this a little closer. If you can see, you know, nothing thus far after a month. Um, the straps have held up nicely. I just, um, at first I was just doing the one strap and now I've just put both of them on there. So one of them is just connected like this. The other one is connected kind of like from one side to the other. So that's how they are. No real noticeable wear on the handle. I really love this handle. Handle is very soft, very substantial. So um, nothing on the bottom. This loop pretty much still, I haven't done anything with this. So it's still, you know, it is pointing upward. So, and I really like, um, that this bag mostly to me lines up. I really wasn't concerned about that. This was, I think, the only one they had in the store. So I didn't ask them, you know, I, I didn't really care about it lining up, but to me it lines up pretty well, even though it's not perfect, of course, but nothing ever is. So um, this bag, if I'm not mistaken, was made in France. I think I may have said that in another video, but this bag was made in France. Um, I haven't looked at the date code on it, so, but I do know it was made in France. So that's pretty much as far as the bag and you know my story into going into why I got it and all that. So let me show you how my stuff is like inside of the bag. So I'm gonna zip this all the way down and let me show you guys. Let me make sure. Okay, so this is how like my stuff looks inside of the bag. So I'm gonna probably put my stuff um, on my table and then just kind of show you guys what it looks like, like everything that I actually fit in this bag. So this on the top is my iPod Touch. I'm just gonna actually put it next to me and then I'll line it up on my table in another clip and show you guys how everything looks. Um, so again, this is my new iPod Touch. I talked about it in one of my last videos. So it's just kind of on the front here. Um, I don't typically carry my phone in my bag. It's just, it's just gonna be too much. This right here is my Christian Louboutin lipstick, and it's actually what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna go out a little bit later grocery shopping. So I am dressed. So this is my Dior Attic Lip Glow um, in the Raspberry 007. This is my Louis Vuitton Empreinte Clay in the Earth color, I believe. Got that pre-love. Um, this is um, a pen. Some Trident Layers Gum Watermelon and Tropical Fruit. This is um, eyeglass cleaner um, cloth, some mints, um, two checkbooks, I mean, I'll show you none of that, but two checkbooks, um, my, oh gosh, that's heavy, my Louis, Vuitton, my Louis Vuitton round coin purse, very heavy, I've got a lot of change in here. These are my headphones, for my iPod Touch. Um, we have my mini pochette in here as well. Let me see what's in here. Probably nothing special. Um, just a mirror, some Aleve, some more gum, mints, um, a Chanel lipstick, and some tweezers, and a MAC lipstick. So I don't, I don't think y'all really care to see all that, but yeah, that's what's in there. Um, also, I have a bottle of water. It's the Evian bottle of water. So this is what's adding a good bit of weight to this bag as well. And this is 11.2 um, fluoride ounces. And then I have my lotion. Y'all know I don't go nowhere without my lotion. So these are, um, this is pumpkin butter. So this is sweet cinnamon pumpkin lotion. Got that from Bath and Body Works. I have some more tweezers down here. And I have a lens cleaning tissue. 
And let me see what else. Oh, and a mirror. I actually, this is, um, I use this for a mirror, but I got this, um, Ulta does like, you know, the little birthday ultimate rewards. Oh, okay. I didn't drop it. Wonderful. It's very small, but, um, this is the Nards blush in the color orgasm. And I've never actually used it. I heard it's really nice. But um, what I like about it is it's got like a little mirror, you guys. Hopefully that's not blinding you. But um, yeah, and then the blush is down here. So I haven't used the blush yet, but I really like that. It's a very nice portable mirror. So I have that. Um, and the bag is empty now. I don't have anything in the back pocket except the care booklet and card. Um, okay, and I see like the date code tab is back down there, but... I'm not going to be looking into all that, but it's black on the interior. So yeah, the bag is empty now. And I actually kind of hate to come out of this bag, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I actually kind of hate to come out of this bag. Like this has just been a really cool bag to wear, especially since um, I've kind of learned how to, you know, put my stuff in here to make it fit the most. So I'm going to miss you, Palm Springs Mini, Palm Springs Mini Backpack. You've been such a joy to wear for the past month but i will see you again probably soon so um yeah that's everything in the bag so i'm gonna come back to you guys in another clip and just show you everything that fit in and then i'm gonna show you the bag i'm gonna be switching into so just a second you guys Okay, you guys so i'm back um just wanted to show you this real quick but this is everything that was in my um palm springs mini backpack so you see it's a pretty good amount of stuff the only thing that was missing and i'm gonna put that down here was my other clay which has my keys so that was the only other thing that wasn't in there but typically i'll put that on the top it'll fit in get in where it fits in and i'll just kind of stuff it in so that's everything that I've been carrying and that's how I've been downsizing. Really, it's not downsizing too much, but um, for me, you know, like I have a um, Louis Vuitton No Way, which you guys know is like a big bucket bag. Like it's the biggest one that, you know, the GM, so to speak. But, um, you know, I was kind of rolling deep with those kind of bags. But yeah, for, so for me, this is pretty much downsizing. But I can even go further, I can further downsize than this if I just kind of plan and strategize my outfits correctly. Because you guys know I was wearing my Chanel Wallet Unchained for about a month as well. And I'll probably do a video about that um, later on as well. But yeah, these are all the things that I fit in um, in my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. And now I'm going to show you guys what bag I'm going to be um, going into for the next month in the next clip. Hey you guys, I'm back. So um, you just saw kind of some of the things that fit inside of my um, Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini. Um, and I'm gonna be switching out into a different bag. So let me show you what that bag is. So it's here in the dust bag. It's been patiently awaiting me to come into it. And it is my um, Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the front leather with the Charisse color, which is like a bright red essentially. So when my best friend came, I let her wear this bag just to kind of see if she really wanted a pochette Matisse. I think overall she liked it. Um, you know, I know each, like some of these bags, it just is an adjustment to get used to them. So hopefully I have the bag in frame. But, um, and I just have my um, Louis Vuitton Stephen Sprouse bandeau on the handle that I carry. So I'm actually going to be putting all of my stuff in that, in this bag here. I am going to be doing a review on this bag soon because I've had it now for a year. I bought this one last year in London. It's just got air paper in that middle compartment. So, and I carry, and this is kind of, this bag is the reason I implemented my, my rule or what, how I carry my bags now as far as carrying one bag for at least like a month. Um, really because I was wanting to give this bag a break because I carried this one for like two months straight and I really wasn't trying to get out of this bag. Like I carried it from November to well, actually, probably October to January. And then I was like, no, no more. We got to switch into my other bag. So I love this bag. I am going to be doing a review on this. I'm um, a one-year updated review. And I've used it enough in that one year where I feel like I could give a pretty adequate review um, as far as the emprunt is concerned. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be putting all my stuff back into this beauty. So you have been reinstated. So I will show you guys 
um, what that looks like. The strap is just in here as well. And again, I'm just going out later to um, grocery shop. So that's why um, I am switching out bags for the month. And again, tomorrow's July 1st. So yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and put my stuff in the bag. I feel like that's going to be too long of a process to try to do that now. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put my stuff in the bag and then I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like with everything in the bag and I will be right back, you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I just put everything that was in my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack in my um, Pochette Matisse. So, and pretty much like I would say that both have about the same capacity, surprisingly. So, um, but I do have a tendency to overstuff my bag. So, um, but yeah, everything fit in here and I just kind of put my sanitizer and lottery charm on one side and then I have some other, um, charms here on the other side. Um, and I've showed you guys these before. This one is from my favorite, um, Broadway musical Wicked that I saw last year, um, in London, but I had already seen it like three other times prior when I had gone to London like 11 years ago. But um, this one right here is um, from when me and my best friend went to Houston, Texas last year. And it just says, don't mess with Texas. You probably can't see it. But um, and then again, my bandeau and um, in the back pocket, I'll just probably fit my cell phone. So that's probably the one and only difference for me um, is I don't really typically put my cell phone inside my Palm Springs mini backpack. I usually just carry it or put it in my pocket if I'm wearing a blazer. I do wear a good bit of blazers that have pockets. So um but let me show you how everything fits so this is everything from my palm springs mini and it is here in my pochette matisse now i almost had a, an issue because i have this water bottle in here i don't think i had that on the table when i showed you guys everything that was in the bag so um yeah but like so i had to rearrange when i found the water bottle i was like yo like <laughs> I don't know if this water bottle will fit in here, but it does fit. Everything fits, but it's just with the emprunt because again, it's all leather. I'm just closing it now. Like if I carry it by the top handle, you see what happens because there's so much weight in it. Like it starts to sink down. So, and I've done that before, you know, again, I don't really mind the bags are meant to be used. Um, not abused though, but I have abused this bag. You see how like the, um sides are kind of caving in some or buckling and that's why i want to get this bag a break because i was already abusing it to the utmost but um oh lord i'm gonna stick on the side but anyway um so that's my video you guys hopefully you enjoyed it so i'm gonna be carrying this beauty for the next month and um we will see i will continue to try to rotate my bags for the upcoming month but be on the lookout since i am wearing this bag i am going to be doing a review one year review of this particular bag along with my chanel wallet on chain because i bought them the same day back in london last year so um be on the lookout for that but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure again you um give this video a big thumbs up make sure you share this video with anyone else who's looking at the louis vuitton palm springs mini i know you know again it's hard to get but um let me show you my mini empty well i know it's kind of hard to get this bag but um you know just again be on the lookout oh that palm oh the shit but she's heavy but um just be on the lookout for this particular bag i really love it again i've been wearing it for a month and I may switch back into this bag later on this year. So I do want to give it a break. I don't want to get a lot of wear on it. Um, I am mindful of the issues with wear that um, I've seen in other people's videos. So again, guys, um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you um, share this video, uh, comment below. Let me know what you think about either one of these two bags. If you're thinking about getting one, if you have one, what are your experiences with them? Um, also, um, Make sure you subscribe to my channel. You do that by hitting the red button below and hitting the bell next to it so you're notified when I do upload future videos, which again, you guys, I put out at least two a week. Um, and sometimes I do more reviews or I put out, you know, another reaction video. So um, again, give me your recommendations below if there's a particular thing you do want to see with my channel or in one of my videos, or if you have a question about something, make sure you comment below. Let me know that below. But again, you guys, I will see you in my very next video and I thank you so much for watching.